Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pete. Once again, I'm going to do three videos today. Woohoo! <laughs> um, there's that piece of spruce. Um, I put this drying rack above the uh, above my, my shop fireplace and I'm going to dry that out to the point where if there's going to be any cracks then they're going to fully develop and I'll know where they are so I can work with it um, instead of doing it when it's still damp. Um, that way if I make a bowl or something out of this then uh, then I'm not going to be surprised later when the wood starts cracking where I don't want it to. I'd rather know where that's going to be uh, ahead of time. So that's that. And it's weird when I started burning uh, the rest of that spruce, this sort of like black tarish liquid was like leaching out of it. It's pretty strange. There's the remnants of it in there. Man, that thing burned really good. I don't know what was in the soil near that. Man, but that was kind of strange because I had the uh, damper open fully and this thick black smoke came out at one point really strange but hey who knows might be a nice bowl i don't know and my uh, to do thing for today um in between other things is these uh square foot garden boxes they worked out really well but not well enough um i think ceramic uh, store-bought um, containers for gardening is gonna end up being better than this because what I did was on the backs of these I put these feet here so I could put a pan underneath to catch any water but I lined it with um, some like two mil garbage bags and somehow they managed to get like a little torn so the it would leak into the uh, into the joints so that wasn't really good for long term but one thing that I was kind of impressed with over time um, just in the sun, they kind of, the wood itself got sunburned. I thought that was really neat. That was a pretty cool uh, effect and something I learned from. So maybe at some point what I'll do is, um, sounds crazy, I know, but <laughs> why not? I was thinking about taking some plywood and putting it somewhere in the sun and then making some sort of pattern where it would block the sun in certain places and then do sort of a graphic on the wood and naturally uh, pigment it that way. I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know, worth trying, right? <laughs> Who knows? So what I'm gonna do with these is repurpose them for storing my hand tools in my cabinets. And I guess what I'm thinking about doing is coming up with a way that I can see inside of them so I know which tools are in which box. So that's what I'm thinking about. That's why I have them sort of stacked up like that right now is I'm just kind of considering it. So we'll see. Oh, and this piece of wood, uh, Pop Prepper. What's up, buddy? Um, you were saying you saw an Indian chief in here, and I am just trying to find him. <laughs> where is he? <laughs> um, so I'm going to orient this to where this is north, this is south, this is east, and this is west. Just tell me where you see, like, the eye, and then I, I will get right on <laughs> figuring out um, maybe doing a, a wood burn or maybe some type of uh, pigmenting on here to bring out an Indian chief. But for the life of me, I just don't, I don't quite see. I, I'm thinking these could be feathers and therefore, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, you see it. I don't. Tell me where it's at. So north, south, east, west. Tell me where you see. Just tell me where the eye and the nose is and then I'll, I'll find the rest from there. <laughs> All right. All right, hope you guys are well. I'm gonna get back to finishing this project. And then I think I have one more project uh, to do for today. It's still early, so aside from cooking a chicken, I got time to do, I think, one more wood thing. So we'll see. Hope you guys are well. Talk to you later. Bye.